Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It is me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the top five talents of the week. Once again, we are back with some of the best young players on FIFA 16. I'm really looking forward to show you guys a couple of these players because some of them were really surprisingly good. The structure of this video is clear. It would be much appreciated if you assistant coaches could smash that like button for this series to continue. I really enjoy making these and showcasing some amazing talents. Starting off at the the back this is a talent that has road to glory written all over him his name is Mukiele he starts off at his 62 rating with the age of 17 he plays in France for the team Stade Lavalo or Lavalois I don't know how to pronounce their name I'm sorry for that but he has 81 potential and he already looks decent if you look at his stats his physical stats aren't too bad he has some decent strength on him good jumping as well decent speed as well but this guy develops into a real Really good player he can also play in the right back position and in the center defensive midfield position as well after only five seasons he grew a lot for me and I was really surprised to see a player like him go up that fast he is worth 625k when you want to buy him in the starting transfer window that is not too much money I think everyone should be able to afford that and he grew to a 75 rating within five seasons as you guys know I am not training any of these players this is their natural growth that means you can just go ahead and train players like this and they will become even better and grow even faster I'm sure within five seasons you can definitely get him up to at least an 80 rating he's only 22 years old after five seasons which is actually insane so this guy is definitely a road to glory type career mode center back for your team moving on though into the center midfield position we have some Someone who can defend and also move forward a great all-rounder his name is Den Donker he is playing for RSC Anderlecht and he starts off at the age of 20 with the 73 rating as you can see on the right hand side this is an all-rounder for sure he already has 81 stamina so he can just play through every single game and he does it all he can defend he can go forward and take shots he can also most importantly for myself take some long shots 80 shot power and 72 long shots and also he is six foot two tall so he is a strong guy in the midfield who can definitely defend for your team so if you're looking for an all-rounder this is the guy you want to get he only cost me around 4.5 million in the first transfer window I had to pay that amount because a couple of other teams were trying to buy him as well he grew to the 81 rating for me and now he's 25 years old and you can see this guy just keeps on improving in all of his stats his mental stats are just mental <laughs> no okay he just kept on improving everywhere and you just have to love players like these who just keep on improving in 33 games he scored nine goals and has gotten eight assists so he is definitely someone who will do something in every second game and he will get you an assist or a goal that is always a good thing to see but then we have more of an attacking player but also an all-rounder Sanson is a center midfielder he's the highest rated one in this and he does not have really amazing potential but if you look at his stats you can definitely see this guy can do anything on the pitch same with Den Donker Den Donker is really similar to this guy but I felt like Den Donker is more of a clumsy guy he's more the strong guy he's better in defending but this guy is definitely amazing in moving forward he can play in the center defense in midfield position as well but I would definitely try him out at the cam position the only downside to this guy is that he is worth 11 million at the start. I'm sure you guys can offer a little bit less and get him into your team, but they just insisted on me paying 12.5 million. In the end, we agreed on 11 million. He grew to an 82 rating for me. Now he's 25 years old. And keep in mind, you can just keep on training this guy in certain statistics that you don't like on him. I certainly loved his defending. Somehow, he was able to get to the ball really fast and just turn around and start the attacks every single time I wanted him to do that he was able to go ahead and do it very easily in 
29 matches, he scored 12 goals, has gotten 7 assists, and he was really similar to Den Donker on these statistics, but he was definitely someone to move forward and score some goals. Now, finally moving over to the winger position, this time we have a guy with an amazing shot on him. They call him the Iraqi Roberto Carlos. In this game, he's actually a left midfielder. In the last game, I believe he was playing in Turkey, and he was a left back, but now he moved over to the Serie A. He's playing for Udinese. He starts off at a 72 rating. Ali Adnan has 80 potential. His physical stats are great already, but his skill stats will just keep on improving and he just turns into an amazing guy to move forward and score goals with, especially long shots. 80 long shots on him already at the 72 rating and 86 shot power. And he can also take some free kicks, which is amazing. I love players who can take free kicks, take long shots and just dribble around players and do some amazing stuff. And this is definitely one of them. I only had to pay around 4 million in the transfer window deadline day in January because he just recently joined Udinese. That's the reason for that. But he grew to the 81 rating for me. And as you can see, this guy looks insane. He kept on improving on his physical stats. Now he has 93 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. And he does also have some great dribbling on him. But man, just go ahead and try him out and you will see how good this guy is. In 34 matches, he has gotten 9 goals and 10 assists. This guy was really the big surprise in this episode. Moving on into the striking position though, we have Clayton. At first, I wasn't too keen on doing a review on this guy, but then I used him and then I was just surprised. I didn't know how good he was until I really tried him out. His statistics at first don't really tell you that he could turn into an amazing player. Starts off at a 72 at the age of 19. According to SoFIFA, he can grow to the 82 rating, but he actually got past that for me, which was really surprising, and I love to see that, that it only happened within five seasons. He's a four-star skiller, four-star weak foot, can also play in the left wing position if you really want him uh, to be on the wing to cut inside and score some goals. He's a right footer as far as I can remember, so you can definitely cut inside and take some shots. At the start of the season, I only had to pay three million for this guy, so it's definitely a bar so get him into your team and let him play because he grows so fast within five seasons he grew by plus 12 and he surpassed his own potential which is amazing now he has 90 finishing and that is just insane seriously with 90 acceleration 93 sprint speed 89 dribbling and ball control and additionally to that the finishing this guy is just insane he is not the strongest guy definitely not he's only five foot eight tall but he can get around defenders with some amazing dribbling he scored 22 goals in 34 matches and at the end he was the guy who was worth the most money in my team 23.5 million for Clayton at the age of 24 he was growing so fast and I was really surprised to see that I was not expecting him to get past his uh, potential but this was it assistant coaches thank you guys so much for suggesting these players if you want to see your players in the next episode let me know in the comments down below. Thanks to those guys who have been suggesting these players. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you want this series to continue, please go ahead and smash that like button. And uh, try these players out, man. These have really been a lot of fun to use.